Alright folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day and today I'm going to show you a magic trick. We are on the Bram Poker Challenge. Um, as part of the challenge here we have no jokers showing up in the shop. Instead we have an eternal vampire that we start with. We also have these vouchers here. So the magic trick voucher normally allows player playing cards to show up in the shop, but they're just vanilla playing cards. They don't have any enhancements. Then if we have the upgraded voucher here, if we have the illusion voucher, now we can get enhanced cards. Um, you know, gold cards, steel cards, additions and seals and all kinds of wacky stuff can show up in the shop. And so, you know, in theory, we can pick up cards from the shop using the illusion voucher, then whatever enhancements they have on them, we can feed them into the vampire and then grow this eternal vampire. Uh, to help us with this, we also start out with the Empress, uh, already able to make two cards into Molt cards and able to power up the vampire right away. I'm here to tell you uh, this here, you know, Joker is no longer showing up in the shop. This is a little bit of a lie here. Um, it is pretty easy to find other Jokers. So as an example here, here we've got an uncommon Joker tag. If we skip, this will cause an uncommon Joker to show up in the shop. And if you aren't aware of this technology, uh, if you take multiple skips, they do stack. So here also we have a holographic tag. So normally this says, you know, whatever the next Joker that would be in the shop gets the holographic. And so if there's no Jokers in the shop, this will never happen. You'll never get your holographic, but because we cause the uncommon to show up, we can add holographic to it. All we have to do is find a way to beat the boss here with just two hands. So, you know, maybe the first thing that I want to do is I want to check out my consumables and see what we've got here. Uh, you know, I want to see what this emperor has to say. So we'll sell the empress to make room here. Uh, in the Emperor, I do have strength here, and so I could use this to make four of a kind pretty easily. And then in the future, maybe five of a kind. Um, I could use the moon here and maybe go for like a flush five or maybe a flush house. So let's dig and see what we get. Um, I've got the two tens here, and so if you wanted to do something like, you know, let's say a flush house. The way that you would make a flush house, you would look for... A full house that has two clubs already and then use the moon to make the rest into clubs so let's look for some more clubs uh, so for example here nine of clubs is great so let's look for um, some more nines and tens all right two nines and two tens already let's discard one more time looking for nines and tens um all right, didn't immediately get what I was looking for. I'm trying to consider, you know, whether or not I want to keep going. I think what I'm going to do here, we can go ace, 10, 9. I'm going to turn these into clubs. And then uh, we'll go... How about this? How about these 9s into 10s? And then that frees me up to do something like this. I can go aces and then tens here for a flush house. That's how we're going to start off here. That's going to be the run. We're going to play flush houses. Maybe. We'll see. All right. In the shop, we do get a hermit here for some extra money. And erosion, you know, as far as like uncommons go, maybe right now is not very powerful. That's pretty disappointing, to be honest. But it's holographic. It's holographic, and so that's going to be good enough. I'm going to guess that that's good enough. Um, I will... I'm interested in this Hermit. Um, so, like, if I buy it right now, I have $11. Um, one option that you might try to do is, okay, we'll save the Hermit when we have more money, then use it after. But, you know, I'm missing out on interest in between. So I think if I use it now, I'll have... You know, I'll be able to get some interest. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Hermit right away. And then pick up this Erosion that I did all those skips for. Alright, now if I want Economy Tag for 13 bucks, I don't need that. So we'll go next. 
All right, what am I looking to do here? So I have the extra clubs and with the plus 10 molt, probably a club's flush will work. And so, you know, what would normally be 300 points flush now if I had the plus 10 molt can get me to 800 points easily. So let's just look for our clubs. Keep going looking for clubs. One more time. There we go. All right, a little bit more than a thousand points there. In the next round, we do need 1200. So we maybe need two hands. I could think about, you know, picking up a Celestial Pack to help us with the scoring. Mm, maybe, maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe I can keep saving my money for interest. Let's do, let's keep saving our money. So in the next shop here, or sorry, in the next round here, what kind of stuff can we might be able to try to pull off here? So I have in the deck, I made some nines into some extra tens. And so here's a 10. Let's go for the clubs again, the clubs flush. So one more time looking for clubs. There we go. We do need another one of those, but it's perfectly fine. You know, here a triple will work as well. In the next round, we do need uh, 1800 points, 1600 points. All right, so we have our first uh, card offering in the shop. It's not an enhanced card, so we don't take it here. I think now we have the extra money for these celestial packs um, i'm not interested in doing full houses necessarily though with the strength card and the extra tens maybe it's not impossible i think i'd rather go for you know this flushes and then later on this flush house line is going to be a little bit easier so here i'm looking to pick up a jupiter card and then maybe in this other celestial pack another jupiter card um, i am spending a little bit money or a little bit below $25 here. So I'm not gonna get the max amount of interest, but I wanna make sure, you know, I have secure enough scoring online. So yeah, maybe something like this, two pair as another backup. Pretty comparable, two pair, pretty comparable to flushes. Two pair, you actually get 20 chips per planet card instead of 15. So you get more chips for two pair compared to flushes. All right, let's save our money and go next. All right, so this is the one where we get punished if we play too many hands or if we don't find our hand right away. Uh, I think it's pretty safe. We can still go for clubs here. Um, or, okay, is this full house with the erosion here? I think is not enough points yet. So I'm gonna keep going for the flush. There we go. So a pretty high-ish flush. You know, these are all my high cards. Perfect, 1600 there. So if we went with the full house, the full house wasn't gonna do it, but the flush will. All right, more cards that are not enhanced here. So we can take the grabber for more hands. And more hands is also more money each round, though in the next round here we do need to play two hands. We could take the speed tag here, but I think I want to, you know, if I skip ahead here without any additional scoring, maybe I need three hands in order to hit 4,200, so I'm not ready to do that yet. So I want another shop. Another shop will give me more chances to improve my scoring. Let's look for another spade here. I'm trying to make two flushes. So there's one flush with the spades. And we could go for hearts. We have eight more hearts left in the deck, or there's also, you know, plenty of clubs. We can probably get the clubs. There we go. All right, so there again, you know, barely 2,800 points. All right, some additional scoring help. So maybe 
judgment. So like I said, uh, you know, it says that there's no jokers in the shop, but you can still get buffoon packs that give you jokers. You can still get uh, these tarot cards. Judgment will give you jokers. And that's a great one to have. All right. Let's take the Arcana pack. All right, so I can get a $9 rebate here. Uh, I think I will. And then that gives me money to re-roll if I want. Though, you know, because of these vouchers here, if I re-roll, I just have more um, cards in the shop. You know, do I want something like, you know, this six here? It makes it easier for me to get my flushes, but it doesn't help me with my, maybe my long-term plan, like I said, is this flush house. If I pick up an extra six here, no, we'll just go next. All right, so now if I go for a flush, the club's flush with the help of the banana here. Okay, a little bit more, you know, maybe twice as many points. But we still need two hands. So we still need more help. Scoring wise, need more help. All right, Michelle, you better hang in there. We need you. Uh, what I really need is a hanged man for the card removal. So let's try this Arcana pack. There's the hanged man. Or I gotta say, you've tempted me. Now I'm tempted to pick up this judgment card for another Joker. I mean, getting the card removal is a plus eight on our erosion. Is plus eight on erosion better than picking up another Joker? Probably, because not only will it give us the plus eight, but it'll also, you know, remove cards from the deck. So let's remove diamonds from the deck. There we go. And I will reroll a little bit looking for more tarot cards. Uh, Jupiter helps. And then I'll save my money to reroll in the future. All right, face cards are face down. Hopefully that's not an issue. Probably that's not an issue. Uh, let's sort by suit here. Um, I don't know what these are. I'm just gonna discard them. So here's a flush. I don't think this is a 5,000 point flush. Almost. I mean, that was closer than I thought it was gonna be because we had the upgraded erosion. Um, I think we can play the two pair here. We do have level two, two pair. All right. You know, we don't have to play flushes. Two, play two pair is a perfectly viable option. Um, if I get the right planet cards, you know, for example, if I take the priestess here, uh, or if you give me Jupiter, I'll take Jupiter. That's fine as well. Um, I want to buy these booster packs, so we'll go Celestial first. Uh, Celestial for Jupiter. The only other thing I would take other than Jupiter is maybe this series for Flush House. Let's go Arcana, looking for a fool. Or I gotta say, Hangman's pretty compelling. Do I want extra money? Or the card removal will upgrade our erosion, and so that's worth money as well. I think that's what I want, rather than taking the $20 here. And so let's remove, I don't know, what are you feeling? Let's remove some hearts. Let's remove some low hearts. All right, now we should be able to hit two flushes like every time, no problem. Fool for another hangman is pretty big. That's pretty big. All right, go next. Um, we can add a polychrome, but if there's no jokers in the shop, then this doesn't do anything. Uh, here, that's a full house, not a flush house. Disappointing. All right, let's go next. How about, I did notice the boss is the one that debuffs your hands. And so this is pretty brutal. If we lose Michelle, hopefully it won't come to that. Uh, I'll remove these two diamonds and hearts and then dig for our clubs. 
There we go, there's the clubs. Upgraded flush now. Worth plenty of points. Alright, I'm gonna keep holding on to the Saturn card as long as I can, because it's currently blocking duplicates. Let's... I do want this Hangman. I'm gonna go Celestial first. Celestial for series is pretty good for later. Um, I will take the Hangman, and again, you know, even though it's gonna cost me a little bit of interest here, um, I do want this Arcana pack. All right, what are our options here? Um, we could probably use the Priestess for the upgraded hand levels, probably, rather than random tarot cards. So let's remove diamonds. Let's sell the Saturn, taking us up to $20 here, and then use the Priestess. Series is huge. I mean, not right now, you know, Actually, we can pretty, with only 44 cards in the deck and five hands, we can probably hit the flush five, or sorry, the flush house, if we just want to go for the flush house every time. I don't think we need to, but we can. All right, so let's dig for our clubs. Um, We didn't get the upgraded flush, but we did get the hangman, so I think now with the erosion, um, this does win. And it's okay if Michelle wants to hang around some more. Series again. Uh, let's do it in this order. I'm going to go Hermit first for the money. I'm going to go Series second. And then we'll go Arcana. And then that way if there's a Fool, it's going to copy Series instead of Hermit. Um, you know, roughly how I think about it is, uh, you know, series gives me plus 40 chips and plus three molt. And so the question is like, how much money is that worth? Um, and I think it's worth 20 bucks. All right, temperance for nine bucks, or we can make some spades. So I'll use temperance. Uh, there is a king here, but it's not clubs. So I'm going to reroll looking for tarot cards. Hermit is perfectly serviceable as a tarot card. Uh, we do have Jack of Clubs. Do we want more Jacks of Clubs? At some point I did consider turning the tens into Jacks, but maybe it's too late for that. So we'll just keep re-rolling here. Uh, Erosion, by the way, is adaptive. If you add cards to your deck, it gets smaller. So maybe something to consider. Maybe we don't add cards to the deck. Um, do I want Neptune? Probably not necessary. I have, like I said, with 44 cards in the deck, I could pretty consistently hit the flush house. I don't need this. I'll re-roll one more time, but I want to save my money for the next shop for the vouchers. All right, let's go next. All right, I'm predicting that this is going to take two flushes. That's my prediction. And that's not, shouldn't be that hard to pull off. So here's these. Well, I did draw my tens and my aces. So there's 21 cards in the deck. If I do something like this, if I go four cards and I play four hands, that's 16 cards. So I have 16 cards before I need to find my ace if I wanna to try to get my flush five. Otherwise, I have 10 clubs left in the deck. So, you know, if I play this flush and it doesn't win, if this doesn't work, I do need two flushes. But I think that's fine. All right, that's uh, not a great sign to be honest so a little bit less than six thousand there so if we do another one it'll be less than six thousand i think we'll still survive it is pretty awkward though wait i realized this is a flush i was just playing this to you know do the high card and like get rid of the ace but it turns out this is a flush it tells me all right now i feel fine now we're good i mean obviously that doesn't win but you know we've got plenty of clubs left in the deck we can make more flushes
All right, a little bit sketchy there because we had the you know half of our chips so we're scoring half as many points we don't need michelle anymore because we have the upgraded erosion plus 32 molt all right order of operations here let's go judgment first for more tarot cards or sorry for more joker cards um, i'm going to buy the temperance and then open the arcana pack in case there's a fool i'm not going to use the temperance right away i want to try to get a, another joker all right so no fool but if we want we can do something like this we could spin the wheel and then we can go temperance after or again here let's go celestial pack first All right, Celestial Pack, this does not have what I want. So I'll just take the Neptune here and then use the Temperance after. Extra discard is useful. Reroll one time. Ah, okay, an eight here. That's okay, I don't need an eight. So let's go next. Skip for 15 bucks here. Ooh, a mega buffoon. I am interested in the mega buffoon. All right, can we get an ace for this super position? It's not impossible. If we, suppose we do, suppose we do get the ace. How many flushes do we need to win? Is it still one and a half flushes? Like slightly less than two flushes because I'm missing uh, Michelle is gone now. Let's not be greedy, he says, while thinking about being greedy. Let's discard. Ah, uh, there's the queen. We would have had it. No way, we're still missing the ace. We wouldn't have had it. Alright, so we do need two flushes. Um... Yeah, let's go for more clubs. Well, only one more jack. So we got to discard these. Um, Ace, king, queen. Hmm. Missing the jack. That's okay. Here's the flush. All right, in the shop here, another eight. If we had taken the other eight, we would have a couple eights. That's okay. We want to keep, you know, maybe not too many cards on the deck because of this erosion. Let's consider taking Uranus here for the two pair. I don't think that's necessary. I think we just, the flushes are doing well for us. We could take, do I want Ceres or Jupiter? Jupiter is sort of short term, helping me with the flushes or I can take the flush house for a long-term benefit. I am gonna go long-term with the flush house. And if that's a plan, let's reroll looking for more tarot cards. I would like to you know, get one more hangman. I would like to get one more uh, moon tarot card or death. Judgment is reasonable. So we'll go judgment here. <laughs> then I say, always bet on banana. All right, let's uh, pick up temperance here. Uh, I don't need anything, so I'm gonna go next. Now, I do want this mega buffoon still. Uh, do I need this mega buffoon? Cause I do have like, you know, potentially I have plenty of tarot cards in the shop. I could get more judgment cards. Hmm. I think if I have if I have uh, the banana here, I don't need this anymore. So let's just go next. The more shops that I have, the more opportunities I have to get uh, more tarot cards. I want Hangman is what I really want. Um, this Temperance I don't need to use. Can we get a queen? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so we got the queen. Let's use the temperance card. All 
All right, so I can do another one of those if I want. Let's use the priestess, show me series. Um, do I want to level up my Saturn? Maybe. Eh, it's only a dollar, why not? All right, how about with this ace here? I've got two more jacks, I got two more queens. Um, on the low end, I only have two fours and two fives. So let's just, you know, let's just look for the queen and the jack. That shouldn't be a problem. You know, there's the jack. Now I just need to uh, find the, the queen, right? Well, one more five? Hmm. Should I go for one more five or the queen and the king? I need both, right? Yeah, let's go for one more five. Even though there's two queens and three kings. Uh. Hmm. I'm feeling this. <laughs> you know, never punished. All right, let's go. Hmm. All right, I don't need any of this. We'll go spectral pack just to take a peek. Um, do we want to reroll for more tarot cards first? Yeah. Like this Temperance card. We could take another Saturn card if we want. If we want to play straights. I don't see why not. Look, it's already as strong as, almost as strong as our flushes. Keep re-rolling here. Temperance again? Hmm, so many Temperance. Not very much money because we don't have very many Jokers, but that's okay. Um, Stone card? No. Series, yes. Let's save our money. Um, you know, generally speaking, you want to re-roll, spread them out in different shops because the re-roll cost increases. So I'm going to save my money for re-rolling in the next shop and I'll just go ahead and go Spectral Pack now. Spectral Pack here, if I want, we can go make another vampire or create a random joker random rare mm, not for 40 bucks you don't nice try all right let's go next all face cards well that's kind of rude like these face cards mm. how about how about we play a straight how about we play it straight for once not a chance all right, let's do these. Let's sell the Empress to make room and then play it. Oops, I mean, that's like a decent amount of points, right? Uh, we just need the King and the Ace. Let's go. Uh, there's a King. Let's find an Ace. Uh, that's a straight flush. Is the straight flush worth less points? No, we got one Neptune card. All right, let's sell the lovers again to make room here and then ship it. Mm, okay, world doesn't help us. We can go, what was the last thing that we did? We used a series card. And so if I open this Arcana pack, it could get a fool for a series card. Uh, let's take hone here. This increases the chances that we get, you know, enhanced cards, you know, addition cards in the shop. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go Arcana. Um, I do have World Justice Tower, and so this will have three different tarot cards. Eh, another Temperance, I guess. Now, do I want to buy the Celestial Pack right away? I think I'm going to do a little re-rolling first. All right, so here we got Earth, Mars, show me three different planets. Uh, for example, this series card. I'd like to get an ace, right? Ace of clubs, another ace of clubs to go with my tens of clubs for my flush house. I got a lot invested in this flush house. It's gonna pay off. 
I promise. Uh, one more time. All right, go next. 20,000 we could do very easily. This is orbital flushes we don't need. And this is if we play a flush. So I think the boss here, we're gonna play three straights maybe, if it takes that many. Um, I'm gonna discard like this, looking for my high cards um, for the superposition. All right, so Jack, 10, 10, eight, seven, uh, we need the king. Okay, now we need the ace. Okay, let's make some room. We have enough room in our scoring here for two straights. I thought, what the heck? How's that worth so many points? <laughs> All right, go next. Uh, ooh, there's another ace. Let's, we got the Jumbo Buffoon here. All right, what do you think, team? Are we square? Are we runner? Or are we clever joker? Uh, I think, you know, between the two of these, I think, uh, I think runner is probably we could grow it faster. Hmm. I think square, you could grow it easier. I'm gonna go runner here. If I get any other chips, Joker, this gets replaced, right? But for now, it's good enough. So let's use temperance now for 13 bucks. And we'll do some re-rolling. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'll buy this Mercury. That way it blocks duplicates. So I'm looking for a series. Fool for Temperance. Ah, that's awkward. I, I violated my series. So do we use this for the money right away? Or we said a series card is worth about 20 bucks. So I'd rather wait and see if we get a series card. Maybe one more time. We do have the overstock, so we do have three cards. Mm. All right, I'm not willing to spend more money than that. So maybe what I'll do is I'll sell this Mercury and then try to... Nope. I was gonna say try to get, you know, series with superposition, but it just doesn't work. That's not how superposition works. So we can reroll one more time. And we don't need Neptune, let's go next. All right, so we're just, we're just fully on straights now, it turns out. That's okay. That's a pivot I'm willing to make. We didn't get that many moon cards, which is a little bit sad. Maybe we'll get one here. Fool for another temperance. I think we, this time we'd be a little bit more patient. I think this time we hold on to it. Um, unfortunately, I think even if I play just one card, I do get the chips from the runner and I get the molt from the erosion. I think this is too many points. I think if I wanted to, I could put the banana over here for the purposes of trying to find, let's see here, I have two, one, two, and two tens. So maybe if I do like this, I can try to get a 10, though I think this is too many points. Yay, it's not too many points. All right, let's uh, do the old swap a Rooney and do this. I mean, that's definitely, if you do a straight, a decent number of points. All right, so what am I looking for? Um, I'm looking mostly for a, what's it called? A series card, though I would accept Saturn also. I said I would accept Saturn. So here we go. Um, I could use the Fool to make another Saturn card, but I'm committed to the, the Flush House endgame. I know we haven't played any Flush Houses, but I'm committed. It's gonna happen. Um, I don't need lovers. 
Maybe what I'll do is I'll pick up a planet card and then reroll twice. All right, so Venus, uh, if I had the Venus, then there would be, you know, no repeat Venus. Oh, well. How about another Jupiter? I think we're done with Jupiter. I think we're done with flushes. Um, here it is. Here's the technology. We got the death card. What do we get rid of for this judgment? If I want this judgment, I mean, you know, superposition is doing a pretty good job. <laughs> um, maybe I'd be willing to get rid of runner is not really necessary. Um, yeah. Yeah, runner is just not it, you know, because like the our leveled up straights already 120 chips, our flush house 380 chips. So let's go judgment here. All right, hashtag rewarded. Let's use the Pluto. Use the Jupiter. This fool is going to give us a second death card. All right, now we are fully cooking. <laughs> All right, how do we, are we trying to, are we still doing superposition stuff? Is that, is that what we said we're doing? Cause like, you know, here's some tens and kings. Maybe I discard like this. There's a king. If I do want to make the flush house, am I trying to Huh. I'm trying to figure out how I want to use the death cards. If I want to make more tens or more of something else, probably I'll go four and four, four aces, four tens, then that'll be good enough. So let's do that. Let's discard looking for our aces. And then we have king as a backup if we want to copy it. All right, there's an ace. That's it, right? So I go three into an ace. And then the fool here for another ace. And now the flush house is fully online and this one's for the believers, here you go. All right, 100,000, we did it. We already have enough points to win. And now for my victory lap, let's go hermit, discard voucher. Let's pick up Celestial Packs. Uh, I'm gonna skip. Mm, I guess I don't skip, right? Because of Constellation. So let's go Pluto, I guess. I should have, before opening the Celestial Packs, I should reroll for planets in the shop. For example, this planet in the shop. Um, do I want? I mean, Judgment was pretty banging last time, right? But. I'm I'm not ready to give up my superposition. So I think we go celestial pack jumbo. Um is this the time you know we get the more straight flushes or more regular straights? I think I'm gonna go regular straights. Then I'm gonna follow it up with the Jupiter from the shop. And that's it, go next. We could take a speed tag here that's 15 bucks still. No, I don't think we need any skips. Uh, clubs debuff, this is not gonna be an issue. So we don't have any enhanced cards because of the vampire removes all your card enhancements. So debuff cards are not an issue. Let's look for a jack. Um, Yeah, try again looking for a jack. There we go. Oops, I probably should have moved the erosion. That was worth way too many points, my bad. Um, how about, you know, we got an enhanced card here, but it's diamonds and it's not a 10 or an ace. So we'll skip. Uh, let's go Celestial Pack first. I want a planet that I can copy. Uh, I guess I'll take Neptune here and then go Jumbo Arcana. All right, so opportunity to get another Joker here. 
I could pick up 20 bucks or two random planets. I think the 20 bucks will give me rerolls and rerolls will give me planets. I still, if I reroll, I have to pay for the planet, so that's a little bit awkward, but I think with the rerolls, I can buy tarot cards as well, or I can try to find more clubs for my deck. So we'll go Hermit. Then I will reroll maybe twice. Death card is perfect. You know, we can make an enhanced card and then copy the enhanced card with the death. Um, I will take Mars here to level up the Constellation. Um, if I reroll here $6, I go down to um, $35. That'll give me money left over. I can buy stuff still, so let's reroll once. All right, this stuff I don't need. Let's go next. All right, so last time, last time we scored a little bit too many points with our straight. Something to keep in mind. Um, there's a bunch of aces that I don't need. Uh, do I want to take this opportunity to make another ace with my death card? I think I will. Um, no, I'm going to wait on that. I've got a reason. So let's, I mean, I do need that jack though. Well, one more time. All right, so we did get the jack. Okay, okay, okay. What What do we got left? We have one 10 and we have two aces. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we only have 16 cards left in the deck. And so with the hands that we have, we can guarantee that we find what we're looking for. What we need to do is put erosion over here. Let's, I'm going to make a copy of the 10. That way, when I play this straight, I have two aces left over that I can draw into. And so ship it. Oops, even that's like a lot of points. All right, let's move the erosion back over here. Let's get some planets. Series is perfect. Uh, let's use Uranus first and then Ceres second. You know, that could be a fool. Um, is this too many points if I do this? Probably. I'm going to do this. Alright. Uh, King, Queen, 9, 5. 100% chance that we hit the Ace. No worries. Uh, how's my straight flush is bigger than a straight? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, I didn't realize I had, you know, these non-clubs aces. Oh, I got a lot of aces in the deck. That's fun. Oh, okay. Um, you know, enhanced six here, but it is a six. So I'm not into that. Let's pick up the, I'm gonna buy, but not use the Jupiter. The last planet card that I used was a series in case there's a fool that shows up. Um, I will open the buffoon pack just to peek here, but it's a high bar, right? It's a high bar for me to part with my super position, which is carrying right now by a lot. All right, let's, sorry, what was the boss again? Bosses debuff the clubs, no problem. Let's reroll once. Twice Hermit. Um. Yeah, if I buy this Hermit, do we. No, that's it. That's all I can afford. So I'll go Jupiter and then back it up with a Hermit after. And then go next. Alright, so if all my clubs are debuffed, let's find a Queen. There we go. Let's do this. Play the 10 here. Still 20,000 for that. All right, let's try the wheel. Is that what I wanna do? Let's discard first, looking for an ace of which I have plenty. There we go. 
Uh, before I use the wheel, I'm gonna play this straight. Um, that way, you know, it's not gonna give me another wheel when I play this. Nice. All right, let's, ooh, telescope voucher for all these flush houses that we've been playing. Hmm, that's awkward. That's okay though. I could level up my flushes. I could get a few more straights and then start to level up my straights. No, I said we're playing flush houses. Get out of here. All right, let's go Mega Arcana. There we go. We could get a Hermit. Oh, uh, we could get two Hermits. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go Wheel first. Nice. See, I told you when we're getting rid of the super position. Look, it's Polychrome now. All right, now let's go Wheel again. No, I think we just take the 20 bucks, right? Then let's reroll. Series, um, yeah, I'll go. Buy the series here. Let's pick up the moon so I can turn my aces. Um, all right, we'll use Venus. We'll follow it up with temperance and hermit and then reroll. Neptune, I don't need. Fool, nice. Um, awkward. Wait a second. Um, do I need this moon? I probably don't need this moon, right? I guess it depends what the boss is. Uh, yeah, let's take the fool here. Um, I want to use the fool for series specifically. All right, all this stuff here. Do I take the 20 bucks or I just keep holding? I am gonna not reroll anymore because the rerolls are getting expensive. I'm gonna save my money to reroll in the next shop. The question is, do I want this hermit? Um, I think it's a uh, yes on the hermit. So we'll use these planets first. And then use the hermit after. I didn't go next. All right, we have a nice amount of money for the next shop. We, our straights are too powerful. So let's do this. Let's look for a jack. One more time. Ah, there we go. Ace, king, queen, jack, 10. Times 2.4 from the constellation. Aha, we've got the hangman. Okay, so I guess it doesn't really matter what we get rid of. So, you know, maybe something like this. Maybe we'll remove these and then discard looking for another jack and another king. Seems reasonable. There's a king, we just need a jack. So, okay. I'm pretty sure if we just play a pair, it's fine. Point-wise, it's fine, okay. There we go. So here's the straight. We could even do a straight flush if you want. Temperance for 16 bucks. All right, so we have two more rounds. So... How about, what's the order of operations here? I think we reroll looking for planets first. It gives us a better chance of getting series in the celestial pack. So I think reroll first, take the Pluto, just, you know, random planets to level of constellation. There we go, series. So we use series. Then we open Arcana. Did I do that wrong? Was I supposed to use the Neptune first? I think I was supposed to use the Neptune first. That's okay. So let's 
Do the card removal? Yeah, card removal upgrades our erosion. Um, let's go use the Neptune, use the Temperance. That way I can use this Emperor. All right, Emperor has a Fool now. And so if I want, I could use this Death card. I don't think I'm going to need this Death card. So let's re-roll looking for a uh, series again. Yeah, did I say I don't need the Death card? Sorry, what was the boss? Jokers flipped and shuffled. Mm, okay, all I care about is Erosion being on the left. Um, I think that means we don't need the death card. I'm asking this, you know, whether or not I want to hold on to this Mars card. So, eh, we'll hold on to the death card. So I'll use Mars here. I'd like to see two planets at the same time when I reroll. That's not it. There's a Pluto. All right, um, $10 rerolls. I'm just gonna use the Celestial Pack, looking for a series. No series, but we can pick up Neptune. We can use Pluto now. All right, go next. All right, I need to find a queen. Hey, wait, where's my queen? It's in there somewhere, right? What the heck? Uh, yeah, I guess we do this. All right, so there's the queen. What's left in the deck? Uh, I do have no more jacks and okay. So suppose I do this. I still have queens left. I am missing a jack. So I can actually, I could do this. I could use the death card. <laughs> so you trade that tarot for a different tarot. I'm into that. All right, here's my straight. And I have a moon if I want to use the moon. So, well, I could use the moon. Probably don't need to. Oh, well, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. By the way, this is why this is why superposition is so powerful. It's what I call, you know, sort of self-enabling. You get the tarot cards, and you know, tarot cards don't overall help you make straights very much, but they do help you make straights a little bit. And so, you know, hangman removing cards from the deck, and then also the death card giving you copies of your, you know, if you want to go high ranks or low ranks or whatever it is. Um, there we go. All right, just one more series card. Is that too much to ask? It might be too much to ask, to be honest. Maybe I should have just been, you know, leveling up straight flushes this whole time instead of uh, going for the flush house. <laughs> Uh, Jupiter here. So Jupiter, Neptune, I feel okay about this. So we got three chances to get series. There we go. And we use the Fool to get another one. So use series by another planet. All right, two more planets here and an Emperor. Um. use all of these. I don't care too much about the order anymore because I'm going to use this Emperor anyway. Ah, that's a little bit stinky. Okay, maybe we can get series right here. Ah, uh, that's okay. Um, how about series? Hmm, Mercury instead. Uh, I could do this. Get a Priestess. All right, what's the Priestess got? Yeah, we can level up our straights. We can level up our Pluto. 
All right. Here's the here's the thing. Here's the boss. It's the acorn again. The acorn that shuffles all of our cards. And uh, every time I do this, someone tells me I'm doing it wrong. And so you know what they said was, you know, if you just slow it down, then it's easier to grab the card. And uh, I don't know if my heart can take it if we slow it down. <laughs> Uh, but let's give it a try. So I'm trying to grab this one. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Wait. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I had it and then it deselected on me. That was super rude. Um. But I think I was able to grab it again and I think it's this one. Is that true? I guess, you know, there's like relatively easy ways to find out, right? So if I play the straight, the straight is too much points, right? So let's find aces and tens. That's the technology. Let's go. Oh, we can't do this. We can't have that. This is a it's fast mode. All right. All right, so we got the tens here looking for an ace. No problem. All right. Um, if I play the one card, if I play the high card, is the high card too powerful? I'm pretty sure this is it. And so to test, I'm going to put it over here on the right and I'm going to do this. All right. No whammies. Wait, is this one? Is that correct? That's what it looked like to me. It looked like that was the one. All right, that just means I wasn't, I swear, I swear I clicked it and then it deselected on me. That was super rude. All right, uh, here's the flush house, level 12 flush house. Let's go. Uh, times four or times 3.9 on the constellation. All right, well, there you go. That's how you do the Bram Poker. Bram Poker, you get the uh, you know extra cards in the shop so that you can get the card enhancements for your, um, what is it, the vampire? You know, very powerful x mult scaling vampire joker. Um, another thing that's like, kind of neat about this is because there's no jokers in the shop, it's easier, maybe you were able to see, it was easier to find tarot cards and planet cards in the shop. And so, you know, you can level up your poker hands faster. You can, you know, get more deck manipulation. We did use a little bit of tarot cards from the super position, but most of our tarot cards were just coming from the shop itself. Um, and so, you know, I think that's something that makes this challenge relatively accessible, even if you don't have any jokers in the shop. Actually, I think that's a benefit. You know, most of the jokers that I see in the shop, I don't want to see. I don't want them anyway. Um, but not impossible, not impossible to get jokers on this challenge through, you know, the Judgment Tarot card and, you know, what other sources, uh, buffoon packs. You can still get buffoon packs. We will do, eventually, we will do the true jokerless challenge, just not this time. Take care, everyone.